Hello. Hello, everybody. Happy High Frequency Thursday. I am back. My name is Brianna. We are getting things shared out on Facebook. We are live on Zoom, but going to share it in a couple groups. Hopefully get some people on here and watching with us while we're live so you can ask questions and interact. We'd love to hear what everyone has to say and what they have to think about everything. Um, because we don't always have all of the information and love to get your guys' input as well. Today, we're gonna talk about making moon water and also using the sun to make crystal elixirs or crystal infused water. And I actually have jars of water and crystals and all sorts of information as usual ready to go. So we, are going to get started, but we want to give a couple of minutes to say hello to everybody. Let us know where you're watching from. If you haven't seen me before, you don't know who I am. My name is Brianna DeWitt and I am in Omaha, Nebraska. And I am hanging out with my friend, Sonia, and she just popped up on the camera. So I'm gonna let her say hello and let us know how you are doing today, Sonia. Hello, I am doing fabulous today. I hope you guys can all hear me okay. I'm sitting outside. It is too gorgeous to stay inside. And that's one thing I told my husband. I'm like, I should be headed to my office right now, but I just feel like staying here and I can because that's the beauty of this, of the work a choice that I decided to do years ago. So I am uh, improvising and you will hear my son in the background with his um, dirt bike and then my dog's there chewing on my slippers and it just is, it's wonderful actually. I mean, I, I love that I can be around them. So um, happy Thursday and we are on time. We've been switching our times in the last few <laughs> weeks and the, so hopefully that you guys are um, going to see this or see the replay. So say hello when you are up putting on let us know if you're alive and um how are you all feeling i feel like this week has been crazy um i have some sage um some white sage in that thing right there so if you see some smoke going up around my face i'm just grounding myself and smudging or however it's called but um i love it it smells amazing and i also no. Yeah. What are you burning today? Wheat grass. grass. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I apologize. No, no, don't, don't. That's what we do. We just go back and forth and this <laughs> is not scripted. This is just us keeping it real and going with the flow with the moons, the energies, um, sharing our wins and sharing our struggles because a lot of you are going through the same thing. So, um, we always ask what you guys are or how you guys are feeling every week. Cause some weeks are more like draining. Some other weeks are more energetic. Others are like, let's get the to-do list going. Um, what are you guys feeling this week? Like, how are you feeling Brianna this week? Uh, today, particularly I have lots of energy. I am feeling really good today. I got a big smile on my face and happy and excited to talk about magic crystal water so that's always exciting um and you know the first part of the week was a little rough you know i have still struggling with the pain that we talked about last week up here in my shoulder and my neck and then going to the chiropractor and doing what i can and finally got some relief about a day ago and Good. have been feeling better since then so i am absolutely stoked about that and it is it's really nice here. It's pretty hot, but the sun is amazing to have um, just to sit outside and soak up that vitamin D. I didn't know how much I actually needed it. Yeah. And I wanted to sit outside as well, but it's kind of windy and I wanted to make sure that you could hear me, but I'm definitely going to go outside after this. For sure. It's, it's windy here too. And I don't know if you guys hear the wind chime. Um, we, when we bought this camp, there was two, um, made homemade wind chimes and I kept it there and I think it's just beautiful. So I love it. It kind of adds that little vibe to it. Right. Like, I like it. 
My neighbor has a bunch of wind chimes and I love to listen to them, especially in the springtime here, we get thunderstorms. And so when it's nice outside yes. and the rain is coming down and you can hear those wind chimes in the background, it's just, it's really calming and it's also cleansing as well. That's what bells are definitely used for spiritually. So that's cool. I love it. And sometimes when it, it's really windy and like they go crazy, I kind of pretend or I tell myself it's a message from someone. I'm like, oh, somebody's trying to get my attention up there. And, you know, I acknowledge it. So, um, yes, it's, um, awesome. and it's like music, it's free music. My son loves it. He um, notices it too. So if you have not have a wind chime and you have some wind wherever you live, I would say not the ones that are super annoying these ones are really um they don't annoy me so i've seen some before that it was like metal like just to, i don't know if you know what i mean like these really have the frequencies and the vibrations that are pleasant to hear are they bells or what are they made of i don't know if you'll see but that one right there it's okay like, yeah those are nice yeah, yeah. so that's like wood the, the top and the bottom and the middle is wood mm -hmm. and then like whatever metal they chose it's like gold and it's yeah it's it's homemade so it's old and I love it it's like antique so yeah I think Probably those sound meat. cool because they are hollow right in the long parts and so it sends the sound differently it doesn't sound as loud and rackety <laughs> exactly yeah yeah uh, we so also have cardinals around here, lots okay. of cardinals, the red birds, yes. and I don't know if you saw, I did a TikTok of a crystal the other day, and the entire time I was outside, this bird was just singing his ass off. It was awesome. No, I didn't. That's funny. I love that. Yeah, I actually put music by Mr. Cardinal, because oh. it was just, I mean, the entire time, and I was out there. Of course, I didn't get it done in one take, so I think he was just... Uh, hanging out with me and cardinals are known like I first noticed cardinals after I lost my dad and a few other family members and they are the bird that is known to be like a visitor from heaven and so they're they're special mm -hmm. to me and special to our family we love cardinals wow I've been getting visits from uh, well this morning was an eagle I mean we have eagle families here um, but just at a specific time when you look up and you see a certain animal, usually it's a sign. And yesterday it was um, rabbits. And I looked up the definition of seeing rabbits and it's luck, um, love, finances, relationship, something lucky. And I saw three and then I went and, and something about three hairs and I'm not like religious or anything, but they had something about the, in yeah. the Bible. So I was like, okay, so, but it was all positive. So do you guys That's notice awesome. um, signs like that? And it's one eleven as I say that. So of course, <laughs> and it's eleven eleven for you. Yeah. So, I love um, when you point it out because I don't always see it and you yeah. always do. So that makes me smile. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would love to know, is there a animal that you see Anyone that you see like over and over that stands out to you, or maybe you had one significant experience that you remember coming across a certain animal at a certain time, uh, butterflies, monarch butterflies. Anyone that knows me knows I love butterflies, yeah. but the story behind that is that once my dad passed away, I found out that I was pregnant all in the same week. And I believe that he was sending me signs and sending me butterflies to know that he's okay. I'm okay. Everything's okay. Life is beautiful. And just to yeah. remember to smile. Like I would see them when I was working a job, my last uh, corporate job. I remember sitting there waiting for a manager to come in and it was a meeting I wasn't really looking forward to. And we were all the way up on the fifth floor of this building that is just completely glass. Yeah. And I remember looking over just right at the perfect time. And there was a butterfly just oh. hanging out, just hovering, yeah. right. not passing by hovering. Just there. They were there um, in my hospital room when my daughter was born, they were swarming outside the third or fourth floor of the hospital. Um, and I would just see them over and over and over again. So that is something that totally shivers. yeah it's the butterfly story behind i knew you love butterflies and yeah. you know I've, I've seen you post about it and mention it so that's awesome 
Yes, that is my story about butterflies. I absolutely love them so much for that reason. And they're just beautiful. (laughs) And the symbol, you know, symbolizing, you know, what they actually symbolize too, which is transformation and change and cycle of life. Um, Do we have anybody in the comments talking about any spirit animals? Let's see. Not yet. Not yet. Not let us know. All right. uh, let us know what you guys are, are seeing or signs. I know some people have, um, what else have I heard people say they, I've, I've seen a fox too. And I mean, every animal has a different meaning and yes. then the timings too. Sometimes it can be a word. Sometimes it's a song that you're listening to and you hear something and then you're like, Ooh, and you like, I need to pay attention or you get a flashback or, um, or when you look at a time and it's one eleven, for example, and you're saying a certain thing, or you hear mm-hmm. in a song, pay attention to that. So I'm really more open now to these. I find that I used to ignore them a lot, but I was still aware, but now I work with the signs. So when I saw the Eagle this morning, I took time to take a deep breath and say, thank you, humble leadership, um, loyal. Like when I saw that, that's how I felt. I don't even know if that's the definition of the Eagle. Um, I didn't look up. Sounds right to me. (laughs) See, And like, so, and I am on a journey of, you know, doing that. So for me, it was just like, yeah, just get your wings out and fly. Right. So I love it. I look forward to see, um, I know that a lot of people will see this in the replay. So you let us know what animal you resonate with. And, uh, I know Oh, there goes the dirt bike again. Or, do you hear it when it, it starts? I don't fly? think I didn't hear it. Okay. I'm, it's yeah, just I don't me. think I can Perfect. hear it. I was worried that the wind or the background might be too much, but that's awesome. I think Uh uh, Zoom does a good job after I tried to play the sound bowl and I listened back to what it sounded like. It won't pick up like- They muffle it. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't. Yeah. Um, So today let's get to our our topic. You know, like uh, we've said, we're probably going to be talking uh, about different things and ooh, look at that. You're all ready. So what, (laughs) what are we doing and why are we doing this? Okay. My, so this is, I want to start with just talking about water in general and the reason why you can use it in different ways. Water is a great conductor of energy, moving it, absorbing it and transmuting it. And so that's why we use water and water is also very good for us. And our body is mostly water. And so when we can infuse things into water, that's a very great way to get down to the cellular cellular level of healing and moon water is very a very popular topic everybody talks about it wants to know what is it it seems so mystical and awesome because it is and it's very simple and so we have talked about it before we've talked about let's just let's just do it so I want to show you guys the whole process but I'm also going to talk about different methods, not just the moon. So the sun gives a different type of energy and you can put your crystal water in the sun. You can also just put it in the refrigerator. What is happening is the crystals are giving their vibration and their energy to the water. So you want to leave them in there for quite a while. If you do it in the refrigerator, they say 24 hours, so just like a whole day. If you do moon water, you only wanna do it while the moon is out. So you would put it out um, before you go to bed or I'm not sure, sometimes it gets darker later in other places, but when the moon is out and you're ready to just set it and forget it, you can put your water outside If you have the luxury of doing so in a place where the moon's going to shine brightly for you, I know Sonia puts it in her window and that works too. Just as the whole idea is that the moon is shining on that water. I may do it outside this time. The reason I did it inside is because I didn't want it to freeze. Um, But now that we have temperatures, I'm in a screen right now. This is like a porch screen. So I will put that here for the next full moon um, in a corner where I know that it will go um, on it. So with the full moon or whatever phase it is, each phase of the moon has a different significance. It has a different 
meaning to it, a different energy where you can use it to harness different things. So you don't have to just do a full moon. The full moon water is going to be the most potent and powerful, yeah. most likely, but you can do it any night. You really can. Um, a new moon probably won't be the best because it doesn't give off a lot of light. That is when the moon is dark, but any other phase would work great. And what you want to do and what I recommend is using a glass jar. Yes. And you just like with your crystals or anything, you want to energetically cleanse your new vessel is what we'll call it. So I will actually just do it right now. I have this sweet grass here and all it takes is the smoke. That's what is doing the energetic cleansing. So same with my crystals. I can choose to use smoke to clean them. And I'm going to wash the jar. I wash these other jars. So I just go like this and let it just go up in there. Could swirl the jar around just so it fills it up with smoke. Have the intent that you're cleaning the energy of the jar to use I'm it start for cleaning crystal. like this now. <laughs> I was just gonna do it. Oh, it's all clean now. It's all clean. There you go. I love it. It's still like hanging out in the jar. Yeah. And I washed my jar after I did that. And you want to clean your your crystals too. And if they're water safe crystals, you can actually, I mean, you're gonna put them in the water. So I hope they are. Mm. You can wash them with water put soap on them if you want, just regular dish soap. You can actually cleanse them like you would cleanse your dishes or anything like that because you're going to be putting them in your drinking water. So it's important that they are clean energetically and for the purposes of being able to drink the water. And spring water is recommended or filtered water, but any water will do. The spring water has a special energy, which I found out and I love spring water if i if i'm purchasing water i will get yeah. spring water not purified water i can taste the chemicals yes. in there um mm. but what i read about spring water is that it has a special energy because it is going underground so it's actually mm. passing through that crystal bedrock in the earth and then coming out so it's getting energized by crystals already and that's why it's so fresh how how long and i'm saying that because we just found a stream or a, a spring like you said on our land so my husband actually put a pipe and we've just we went there yesterday we got a few hundred feet of pipe that uh we got water going down awesome. and i'm gonna go and get some but do you go and get some on the day of or a day yes. or two before on the day of mm -hmm. better Perfect. You want to keep things as fresh, fresh. as you can. Perfect. Yeah. So doing it the same day, I'm going to use this water today. I'm okay. actually going to test it and do one out in the sun and see, I have a lid on it because I don't want Bugs. things to fly yeah. in there. Um, and then the other one I'm going to put in the refrigerator and I'm just going to test the difference. But the thing about it is that you have to drink your water when you use crystal water within 24 hours after making it okay because water is a perfect place for bacteria to grow yeah so if you're going to drink it you want to drink it within 24 hours of making it so it's suggested that if it's just for personal use you use that glass and that's mm -hmm. what you're going to drink and that's yeah. perfect and don't drink uh, your crystals <laughs> <laughs> no don't don't drink them that's why I've actually have taken a drink while they're still at the bottom. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that. I can see someone <laughs> doing that. Yeah. Uh. So you want to remove them first, of course, but you can also speak your intention into your water. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever done it? Well, when I drink it, I set an intention whenever that's I want. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So imagine how much more powerful and magnified your intent would be right. putting it in here, jarring it up, giving it to the sun, giving it to the moon and letting that vibration just soak up in there wrapped with all your intention. You can also do you do sun and moon with the same water 
Is that what you're doing? Or you do a different one? I'm doing might- different. So okay. I'm going to have a jar Sorry. for all of them separately. I'm okay. going to try the refrigeration method just to see how it tastes differently than being yeah. out in the sun or the moon. This is my moon jar that I still have to wash, but I'm not putting my water in there yet because I'm not going to be able to make the moon water until tonight. Okay. So I just filled up the two jars. Uh, one I'm going to put outside and one I'm going to put in the fridge. But what I was saying is you can put your intention under your jar while it's sitting there with the crystals in it. Or yes. if you're just doing moon water, you don't even have to have crystals. It's just nope. the energy from the moon, but the crystals are cool to incorporate with. So what I'm going to do is open my jar and I decided to put agate in there. Yep. This is a nice agate cube and I'm going to drop it in here and hopefully it doesn't hit the the jar too hard. I think they said to put the crystal in first and then the water so you don't have to worry about it. That's what I would do. Probably I didn't cause... do that. So I got my fingers all up in there and you heard it <laughs> drop. So we're learning as we go, right? Yep. So here it is. This is the one I'm going to put outside. Mm-hmm. I got my lid on it. I'm going to find a bright sunny spot. It's going to be the peak of the sun today. So it'll get all sorts of sunlight. And the reason I chose agate, of course, we want to know what is this water going to do for me? Yes. Agate is great for cleaning your aura and your physical body. It stimulates digestion and relieves gastritis or any kind of stomach upset. It helps cleanse your lymphatic system, which I have some congestion going on. Improving concentration, which I'm always trying to do. Mm. Self-confidence and acceptance, soothing, calming, but also giving you strength. I love that. I need a, I need that. (laughs) So I'm going (laughs) to go get an agate somewhere. There you go. (laughs) Yeah. So there's my agate water and other ways, because I'm, I mean, I can challenge myself to drink all of this today that would be a good uh personal goal because you're supposed to drink like half your body weight in Mm -hmm. ounces of water a day Mm -hmm. so i could definitely drink all of that but in the case that i don't drink it all in 24 hours i can use it in other ways and you can also stabilize the water with alcohol So we're talking like brandy or vodka. Okay. And you want to look up and have a specific recipe to make sure you're putting the right um, ratio of the water. But when you're only using a couple drops of the elixir in a um, glass dropper, the amount of alcohol that is in there is very, very minute. So you won't it doesn't matter. It just stabilizes it. So the bacteria doesn't grow and then you can use it for a long time. And people put herbs in there as well, like rose petals or lavender. I was going to say that I have, um, some plants that I bought yesterday and I'm going to do one. And it's funny you mentioned that. So I do have the alcohol. I might make a little spritzer or something. Um, but I have lavender here. It's lavender hit coated blue and then, um, sage burger tin anyways it's a chef's pick so I bought two sages one will be for cooking the other one will be for smudging um lavender I want to have a strip of lavender and this will be just purely for me to go and touch it and smell it um and then I might I think it would be good in some water I'm gonna I'm gonna see um but I'm gonna go and google them but you mentioned something about lavender yesterday so I want you to bring that up because we always try to bring up some essential oils, um, all <coughs> different things. We were talking about a bunch of different products that we love and use yesterday in a chat. And you said, do you know that lavender was in all of the ones you mentioned? So, um, 
I know I'm just bringing that up, but lavender has so many beneficial uses. I just wanted to bring that up because I don't have the that with me, but I do have my bracelet and I am diffusing it right now. So um, not diffusing it, excuse me, but wearing it. Right. Uh, so um, that is just the aromatherapy in a way. Um, also, it is good for senses. And I know lavender has a lot of benefits. So do you, do you have anything to add about that? I was just going to add on to more of what we were talking about yesterday. Someone had asked about what was the best essential oil to relieve any kind of tension in your body. Yes. And all sorts of answers came in on these specific products that we use. There's single essential oils. There's some that are already blended, some that have CBD or CBG in them already. And every single one that was mentioned had lavender oil in there, whether it was for soothing yeah. you emotionally or soothing your body where you can rub it directly on there it was in the restore it was in i didn't like every catch. single one of them right. um, the flex that's the main one in the flex too i didn't know that so see yeah. so i believe that's a call to say i need to add a few lavender leaves in my moon water so if you can only get one essential oil use lavender if you i mean unless you don't like it for whatever reason the next one good for king yeah yeah it is king of essential oils is frankincense is yeah. the next one that was in most of those products too True. and it's good really awesome you. when you're working with essential oils because it's simple i could look that up i could yeah. know that they just blended three or four different in Right. essential oils and made them so much more powerful and it's just amazing how much they can do and if you don't do and some essential oils are food grade some are therapeutic and they're not um to put and ingest but if you do and have some that you can you can put them in there if you want to have a little taste but i was just thinking if you want to like maybe have a bath water like i know some mm -hmm. people do it use it for their bath yeah. or cleaning or just water your plants or whatever it is always google research i don't want you right. to kill your plants or I don't want you yeah. to be like and always make sure you use the safe oils if you don't have any essential oils um that you feel are safe or that you know are safe reach out to Brianna she'll help you with that or whoever shared the video with you um because we have uh, a plug for amazing essential yes. oils that are aligned with chakras and aligned with um all the affirmations and everything that we talk about so um I'm gonna definitely be doing you know what I think I'm gonna do maybe Cause I've always been on the happy, healthy, wealthy theme. I might do a moon water for happy and then healthy and then wealthy. And do you share your moon water uh, with your kids or do you have them make their own? Cause Mika is always like, Oh, I want some last time I made That's some for him. But do you feel that when you're intentional about your thing, someone else drinking in it, how do you feel about that? Yeah. I mean, that is a good point. It really is. I mean, they can't, Anything that we're going to manifest, I don't think would be a bad thing to manifest for your child as well, you know, um, but if you want to have your own moon water and some for Mika and maybe make some intentions or let him do it, yes. you know, that's a fun thing to do. My kids love to make moon water. They are super excited. We usually just do it on the full moon because that's when I have the energy to make it a production and get all the crystals out that's the other thing too that people love to do is to charge their crystals in the yes. moonlight and the way of doing that with the water is the water is cleansing your crystals the moon is charging your crystals and the water so it's like a two thing at you know two for yeah. one or you can just do one or the other and that's why it's so fun and it's so awesome because i can just I can make it so personal for me. I can help others with it. I can use it around my house. I can, you know, everything about it is natural. And that's really your what plants. I enjoy about all of it. Right. You mentioned about plants, right? Yes. So um, I am growing, transplanting. I almost killed a bunch of plants because I'm transplanting them a little bit too fast in my greenhouse. Um, so I have some crystals laying around in my greenhouse right now. And I go there every morning. I talk to them. I tell them, you're pretty. You're going to make Aww. it. <laughs> yeah, Kind of have feeling you? a little guilty here. And I should have known. But 
it is um, what it is. So now all I can do is give them love and good mood water. Yeah. So what I was going to say is, have you ever heard the trick of naming one of your plants after somebody that you love? No. So that way you will give it compliments and it's an easy way to show love to your plant, name it, give it a name. Cool. And it's interesting that you brought, you actually brought up like all of the things on this list here that I was going to talk about <laughs> using the, like, the water for, yeah, no, you're yeah. right on track. It's awesome. You can use it in your plants. Like we said, so if you wanted to make your plants some moss agate water, because you might not have 17 moss agates, yeah. but you can share the love and get the vibration in the water and water your plants with that crystal water. I like that. And you can put it in your bath, like you said. So if you make a bunch and you, or make it intentionally for your bath, add some essential oils to it as well. And like Sonia said, always do your research on where you're getting your essential oils from if they are safe to ingest or put on your yes. body. Most of the time, if you're talking about bath water, they're going to be really diluted in that water. So you should be safe in that case. Right. You can also use this water. And if you want to make it scented, you can spray it on your linens, mm. like your curtains or your bed sheets or anything like that and like you said spritzing yourself you can do that too so let's say you made some lavender water mm. you can do so it's an elixir if you are going to drink it that's the it's crystal elixir drinking it within the first 24 hours or using it topically on your body within the first 24 hours like using a cotton pad and if you had yeah. a like a headache and you had amethyst water, that would be a great thing to um, use. Like maybe a, even a washcloth soaked in yep. the water would be awesome if it was cold and you had a headache. I had that during my pregnant, my, um, when I was delivering, she had rose um, water in a bowl and then she put the cloth in there. She would drain it, like squeeze it and then wipe it on my forehead. She had made me choose the scents that I wanted before, like when I was still pregnant. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, I don't really like rose scent before, <laughs> but I'm being attracted to it. Cause every rose scent I've smelled before was chemical. It was fake one. It wasn't the real, cause it's very expensive for that rose mm -hmm. oil. And then when I smell, and it's funny cause one of her, um, I think one of her roll-ons um, has that in there. So, and I love it. I believe it's I believe it's the beauty, but anyways, I know I'm getting off topic, but just when you said that, put that there. So it, it could be used during delivery too. So yeah. imagine having a moon charge water, um, face cloth that you can put on the woman's forehead when she's in labor. Like that's, that's kind of intense. The Thanks. possibilities are so endless. It is crazy. That's why we could literally sit here all day. And these topics are just open-ended leads you from one thing to the next and back around. And it's just awesome to know the different ways that you can help yourself. And the next one, I want to get super specific, you know, on some level here. So I want to show you the rhodochrosite and make my second thing of water here. Rhodochrosite is more rare and more expensive. So you might not come across rhodochrosite, but I chose this for myself mm. because it is a great irritant filter, like with the seasonal allergies that are going on, respiratory problems. It helps dilate your blood vessels to help you get rid of headaches. It lightens your mood, improves your self-worth, alleviates stress, and gives you a positive attitude and helps creativity. So even writing all that down, I'm working with my intent. There were a lot more things in the book that I was looking at, but I pulled those things out because those are what I wanted in my water. I have done carnelian water before and it was great for energy. So I'm gonna drop this one in here. You're gonna hear it clunk. Sorry, Crystal. I'm like, yeah, All right. I hope it'll break. <laughs> So I have both of these jarred up. I am going to see if I can taste the difference. They really 
have a lot of information on elixirs online and most crystal books that talk about how to use crystals they'll talk about elixirs or gem essences that's where we put the alcohol in there to stabilize the water and make it sterile and that would be where you would use it around the house as a spritzer put lavender in there if you want to add things to your moon water or your solar water you can add fruits or vegetables make it lemon water if you want anything you add to it is only going to add value because once you have already bottled up that this water has already gotten infused, you can only just add more positivity and more intention right. to it. So uh, I set this on here to show you that if I wanted to, I could bottle up some of the water in just a little yes. spritzer or in the amber colored bottles that helps to keep the sun from, yes getting to the water or making things go stale or not last as long. So if you can get like a dark colored dropper, that is a great way to do it too, to add, to just take some of it and put it and use it all over the place. There goes a the squirrel. I even <laughs> thought of, um, I'm going to be doing a detox. I know uh, you will be too, because um, a lot of people are doing seasonal detoxes or twice a year. Um, and then I'm going to have a look in Google, maybe some herbs and different things and crystals that can help with that. Because I, I want to help my body and know, I want my body to know that we're heading into a detox, which I even feel it's, I'm called for it. Like, I feel like I want to eat lighter. I want to eat healthier. I was up at 5.55 a.m. this morning. I don't get up before six. Mm -hmm. I am not a mornings person. I hate it. I wanted to sleep in. Yes, I got kids, but my 12 year old was still in bed past 9 a.m. And my mm -hmm. toddler was up at like eight something because he was up very late last night. So it's not because my kids were up. It's not even because of my puppy was up. I got up and then I saw the sun waking up, setting up. And I went outside, meditated. I drank my coffee. I took my supplements. I had my white sage, my crystals with me. I did all the intentions. I went in the greenhouse. <laughs> I prayed for the plants. I'm trying to revive, but um, I feel that, yeah, it, it's so powerful. And I'm going to be doing that detox intention. I know I said happy, healthy, wealthy, but as I heard you talk, um, so I wanted to just, that came up. I wanted to share that. Yeah. I think that I am definitely in the same boat. I just, I feel it. I feel the congestion here. Allergies do get to me. You know, sometimes when we're dealing with more stressful times in life, we don't mm -hmm. eat as well. So I have intentionally awesome. yep. purchased some products that are going to give me all the nutrition that I need. It's not only about weight loss. It's about detox. It's about healthy energy levels. It's about restoring your body and getting back to a good starting place where it's not a treat to feel good. You always feel good. That's your baseline. And so when exactly. you stray from it, you know that something is wrong instead of saying, oh, wow, I actually feel good today. That is my intention is to feel good and have lots of energy every day. And I know that it's a combination of lots of things. It's, it's nourishing my body. It's giving gratitude. It's showing up every day. I actually, I saw your video. I watched it and it gave me inspiration to take my sprays, to go eat something for breakfast, to get moving, just sharing your, your energy, sharing the inspiration, you know, like you always say, if I could reach one person, and help change one person's mind or their life in a positive way, then my job here is done. Even exactly. if it's just one person, because that is a, it's a ripple effect. And it is to come on social media and not only just share wins, but to share not necessarily losses, but challenges and how you build yourself up from that. We, right. like you say, we keep it real. And we know that life isn't always the pictures that you want to post on Facebook to share with everybody. 
And so that's why we're here. That's why we keep coming back. We're excited to grow, right? Like personal growth. Yep. And just from there, you grow your circle. You, you find more people that have like energy, like you do, you can get, you know, just being yourself is very powerful and very valuable. I agree. That's one of the best feelings. And when you have people following you or finding you and they're like, you meet them in, in, in person and they're the same people. And that's what I truly like. Cause how many jobs or how many places have you been? And you had to level down or you had to shush a little bit or maybe be less you and like um talk less loud i've been told my whole life my mom was like don't talk so rough so passionate so loud so but i'm like i'm opinionated like i don't believe in all the craziness sometimes that and i used to have a lot of opinions and i used to be shushed but at the same time being shushed didn't help me because it just made me feel worse because i felt like i'm not being heard this is not right, but there's a balance too. So now it's like, I know when I share some things, I maybe used to be aggressive and hurt people's feelings because I used to maybe want to share a message a certain way, but now it's just done differently. And if I get passionate, like this week, we talked about energy. My energy this week was to like shake some people, like, come on, like, wake up. Like, you have this, you have so much potential. You are like, just I see some people putting themselves down for some simple little things and just like not seeing the big picture and focusing on the wrong issues that will just bring them more of that issue or similar situations and because you've been there and you've seen it and felt it and sometimes whether it's weight loss or um, love or parenting money whatever you want to give tips to people you love and care about but they need to go through their own journey at the same time too but sometimes they can skip it there's some steps that you can skip because you've read a book because you've had a mentor because your friend went through it but there's some <laughs> steps that you truly have to go through feel it digest it go through it and then let it go and then grieve all that you know those process so us coming here and being real yeah we do share a lot of wins we do share a lot of moments that we have but then people come to us whether it's in the comments or in the inbox and they're happy because they're like i feel the same way and they they might have been feeling icky and you don't want to share on facebook well some people share everything on facebook but you know um i unfollow people that shares all their ickiness without a solution or if people comes to you and you keep giving them a solution and they don't take well after a while it's like how much time am i gonna waste to try to get you to you know like take the advice that i'm giving to you so sometimes you just gotta bless and release with love and um that's what we've been doing just a lot of self-growth and you mentioned something about others um but you need to help yourself first too so and i'm saying this to you i'm saying this to me and the more i do that because i always felt like oh i feel like i need to help this person or i feel like i need to guide them or answer their message or do this for them and then it's like, yeah, but if I do that, I take 10, 15, 20 or an hour from my time. And that's where I needed to recharge my battery. That's where I needed to level up myself or eat the good food or take my supplements. So if I'm not doing that, the next person I'm talking to, I'm not being fair because I'm rushed. I'm stressed. I'm tired. I'm un unmotivated because I didn't do what I'm supposed to do. So um, set boundaries and also have blocks um that's another thing and i know we talk about being empath and there's just a lot of different things going around um this week especially if you guys follow the moons and eclipse and all um it's intense so anything else uh i know i talked about like five six different things in the last minute here so want to touch up on any of that yeah i'm over here like trying to hold on to my points and listen at the same time um, and that's a, a lesson, you know, for me too, but I wanted, I was over here smiling when you were saying about your mom telling you to be quiet and, you know, don't be so loud. And I can relate to that sentiment where I felt like I wasn't allowed to take up as much space as I do. Some people have big energy, you know, 
But right as you said that and you were expressing yourself, your wind chimes, that was the first time that I heard them on the feet. They just started being loud and being serving their purpose. It was awesome. So that made me smile. That was spirit giving you a confirmation. You're right on track. That's what we were talking about with the signs. What's happening when these things, that's what makes them have the personal relevance and meaning to us. Um, I can't remember most of the other things. I Um, I went over a lot. Yeah, you did. And they were all awesome things that are right on my mind as well. And I have been doing that lately. That was one of the things that when you were talking about taking care of yourself first, so you can give your, you can give the best version of yourself to other people. Exactly. And I have been doing that instead of dropping everything and answering a message. If I'm hungry, I'm going to eat first. I know that message can wait. Mm -hmm. And I have been also getting better about letting people learn on their own Mm -hmm. and realizing that there's people that want to vent and there's people that want to solve problems. You and I naturally are problem solvers, but we also vent as well. Mm -hmm. I, and when you can learn, when you can learn to read the energy of somebody. I did go through exactly that last night. Like, I try to tell my husband something. I didn't want him to do it for me. I wanted him to listen to the problem, help me find a solution, then I would do it. But when I asked him, he thought I was asking him to do it. So really communicate and all of that. And uh, I think men and women, we, we communicate differently. And if you go to Absolutely. someone sometimes and that, that was, it. I just wanted to be heard. And right. I, I wanted and him, he was like, no, I'm not doing your flowers. I'm not doing all that work for you. Like, cause I just wanted to have someone hear me so I could brainstorm. And women were like that. We need to brainstorm. I wasn't venting. I was looking for a solution. So, but right. I might vent later today if things don't go right, you know, <laughs> and setting your intent, you know, like I have realized just how powerful it is to stop, take a breath. And if you can respond and not react and say, Hey, I, right? can you just listen? Can you please listen? I I need someone to listen to my ideas. I'm looking for, you know, I'm trying to brainstorm out loud. Would you mind helping me with, would you mind being my ear? You know, when you set that clear intent, it's hard for them. And that's your boundary too. It's hard for them to misinterpret it then. And give, I was excited. I was like, go, go, go. (laughs) And my energy scares him. So when I get on a mission and then I also sometimes take products that makes me go, go, go. And women, we have 10 things on the go while men has one thing. So we were talking about other things and I turned around and I'm like, oh, and I need this. And and he got like, he's like, I'm not doing it. And I'm just like, okay, let me back up. Let me ask you. I just want you to listen. And then I needed to level down. So sometimes if you're too high level, maybe just depend who you're talking to and what you're asking for too. So I wasn't asking him to do my flowers. I just needed, I think that is a man thing because I feel, and it has something to do with listening as well. Mm -hmm. And not thinking that we're blaming them because we're not it's we're just but it's about your tone I have learned you know Josh and I celebrated our seventh wedding anniversary last week and over the course of you know our communication has improved significantly if it didn't I don't you know we we wouldn't be seven years strong you have to learn to control your tone Mm. and sometimes my passion and my big energy makes it sound like I'm pissed off. I know it me too. It sound like I'm going for someone. I'm not. I'm I know just... me too. And he hates that. And I'm just like, ah, no, <laughs> but we have to learn to breathe and, you know, harness that back in or find an audience that can match it if right. you want, you know, and it's, it's a learning process and everybody has different energy and, you got to know your audience. And like you said, um, sometimes you feel like your advice is wasted. You're wasting your time. Um, and you don't 
share your opinions as much, but that's part of self growth because you, right. you recognize your audience, you know, who values your opinion, you know, who's actually going to listen, who's actually going to do the work, who's actually going to appreciate that time that you're giving up. And that's right. where the self boundaries come in. And we decide who gets to stay in the circle and who, you know, it doesn't make them a bad person if your energy no, no. doesn't mesh or, you know, but you have to protect yourself first and foremost, because I spent so many years and a lot of people that know me now, or even have known me forever, wouldn't believe that I could, could have been defined as a people pleaser. Someone yeah. who will put their wants and needs in the back to please other people. And lots of years of that took a huge toll on me energetically, self-confidence, right? self, you know, just everything to do with me because I wasn't focusing on me. I was because you feel guilty on... when you do exactly. Right? And that's the other thing. I think you had mentioned something that reminded me of the law of attraction that you mind your thoughts and yes. everything like that. Lots of things just boil right back down to the law of attraction. Right. I watched the secret yesterday for about like the fifth time on Amazon prime. Yes. And if you're starting if you, no matter where you're at in your journey, the secret is a great place to start to get you to the next level. It really breaks things down to a simple level of your thoughts and you control all of that. And you sit there and you think, why on earth do I make things so complicated? Why does, why do things seem so hard? Well, it's your brain. It's your mind tricking you into all that. I agree. But I'm interested if anyone has seen The Secret. Um, if you haven't, if you have Amazon Prime, it is on there. You can buy the book. They have a few different books. And that alone will definitely get your mind in a better place. Definitely. That book I found in a yard sale. I had it in my house. I didn't read it. And then I saw someone mention it on Facebook and I'm like, okay, I need to go watch it or read it. I started reading it, haven't really finished it. And then, um, I heard about the, the video cause I'm, I'm dyslexic in French. So reading a book was very hard for me. And when I listened to it and I actually, I finished the secret and I've started reading it a few times before I actually finished it. And then I just, start realizing and then I had a 365 day teaching so there was a different affirmation or teaching from the secret every day that I did for a whole year and it was life-changing I always go back to it and it's something I would recommend to watch even once a year because every time you level up you listen to the same thing you hear yeah. different things that you might not have noticed so absolutely yeah. that's a great way to put it and big um, shout out to bob proctor um, oh May yeah rest in peace. and i met lisa nicole's actually exactly a year ago in two nice. days from uh today I, and she's part of that she's a, a big big speaker in that movie too so i, I remember her. Awesome. yeah no yeah. and it's one of those that you want to have a notebook. I mean, you, they yes. give you so many good one-liners and just three words, putting three words together that will just like blow your socks off. Right. And you have never thought about life that way. And talking about affirmations, just to close it up. I know we are going on an hour now. Something I had thought about before and failed to mention on the previous lives is something that you can say out loud and it can be different versions of this but something to the effect to give your or to get your energy back you call have you ever heard someone say call your energy back to you oh i lost your camera there you go yeah someone started calling me i apologize oh, okay. have you ever heard the phrase of calling your energy back to yourself uh, maybe not in those words, but um, just don't give too much of yourself um, if you're healing or because as a, a massage therapist, we um, learn to give our energy and give our healing and that, but to like maybe block it, I guess, maybe um, is like to not give everything, like make sure you give it back to yourself too. Is that like along the lines? 
yeah that was definitely along the lines and the actual like action you can take is at the end of the day or several times throughout the day i know people that will do it once or like let's say you go to the grocery store and then you come home you are calling back all of your energy to yourself so you often the version i say and i it's never written down it's what comes from my heart and what i feel yeah. like i need i call back all of my energy from all people places things dimensions anywhere that my energy may have gone i call it back to myself and you can also release any energy that doesn't belong to you and i like to do that too when i'm feeling really heavy or have a headache or feel you know like i was in a particularly heavy situation i will say i release all energy that does not belong to me and that does not serve my highest good right and say that out loud say it once say it twice you'll feel yourself lighten up so if you're if you have a tendency to absorb energy and you're not really sure how to block it out to um we're not perfect even having an energetic field or boundary you can still pick things up just think about all the stuff that you see floating around in the air we can't even see energy like that your clothes are picking it up your hair is picking it up right. everything's picking it up so calling back your own energy and releasing energy that does not belong to you are two very powerful things that i recommend to people to do on a daily basis I don't know what that was, but I just saw a white yellow leaf kind of fly down and it's not a tree that I noted. I'll have to go see, but that was kind of, that was definitely a sign. That was a message. That's that awesome. Someone. Yeah. And you were speaking, so it probably has to do with you. And I don't know. That was just beautiful. It's telling um, you that you got to release energy that doesn't belong to you and call back that. your own. Yes. That's one problem in the last years and I kept telling my husband sometimes I get very sad or I get anxious or just I, I have feelings I can't control well I can control but it's not from me I'm like if you see me cry sometimes it's not because I had a bad moment or bad day I might be feeling my friend that might be another country I might be feeling her grieving she lost her mom or my friend might be breaking up or there might be experiencing pain. And as a massage therapist, I experience physical pain from people. So I've, I've done a lot better in working and working with myself, crystals, meditating, herbs, all of that. It definitely, I am more sensitive in some ways, but I can block a lot better. So I'm not worse. I'm a lot better, but I'm noticing a lot more things, but I can catch myself. So I know that a lot of people that are here watching you are empaths. You are also sensitive. And uh, that might be something for you to think about. So hopefully you got some uh, nuggets and good tips. I mean, we went over all the things and now it concluding my moon water that I'm going to do. Um, one will be for communication. Um, and then the other one will be for detox. So communication will be my happy the detox will be my healthy. Um, and then of course, um, the wealthy, well, I can put some maybe pirate, I don't know, pirates about luck and this and that's, so I'll see if I can put that. Pirate's in not good for water. Okay. Uh, see, it was, I'll Google everything before yeah, I put anything in definitely. water. Definitely. They good. have a comprehensive list online. Yeah. I wrote down just right off the top of my head, quartz, agate, and jasper are all water safe. And there's tons of different okay. kinds of quartz, agate, and jasper that you can choose from. Most people have those. Um, but I was going to suggest to you to put one of them out in the sunshine, the one that yes. you want to give you energy. You could try this solar crystal elixir, put it out in the sun for like six Do to that. seven hours, pull it back out when the sun, you know, starts to come back down in the sky and chug it that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> love that so how about next week we um just talk a little bit about the effects maybe we can share some if you guys do your moon water share in the um, comments your um, pictures with us your experience your recipes elixirs um next week i don't know if we have topics yet i know we're going to start talking detox so i could i could think maybe lighten it up and awakenings too i don't know if that's something you'd like to bring up i know that can be a touchy subject but with all the things we do and we talk chakras and those are all yeah. tools um last spring i went through some type of awakening and then there is a lot of 
moons and planetary stuff happening right now. So I'm sure some people are feeling it more than others. And we don't all awaken or send or do all that thing all together. And it's like you have ha ha moments sometimes. And for some people, you feel like you're dying. And for others, it's like, <laughs> Ooh, I'm flying. Like it, it, it's not always magical, but um, it's nice to hear you're not alone when you go through these things. So I think opening that up a little bit, because I had no idea a few years ago about all of these things, including even crystals. I saw a picture from last year. I was on my way to Vegas and I had quartz um, in, in a a little whistle that goes to 528 hertz frequency. I have that in my passport. And I'm like, ooh, I was only traveling with one crystal. And you know what though? When I got to Vegas, I had a box of crystals from, <laughs> from the girls and you and a bunch of orders. And then from there, it's been like, now I always have at least three to four crystals, whether it's here, here, in my hand, on my wrist, my pockets. <laughs> I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, you know. I don't have any pockets, otherwise I would. I um, shop for pockets now. Like if I see a dress, yeah. there's no pocket. I'm like, mm -hmm, nah. <laughs> so. I was slipping when I bought these shorts, I guess. Cause I'm the same way. Unless it's really like, okay. Yeah. I really need that. That'll be an exception, <laughs> but yeah. So, uh, -huh. well, we're, um, over the hour. Thank you so much for, um, being here, whether you're watching live or replay, if you have any questions, you all know what to do and, uh, reach out to the person who share this with you. And then Brianna, thank you so much for doing this with me every week. I look forward to it. It's like we get to hang out and get to learn cool things and do yeah. cool things, talk about it and help others um, along the way. So we're good. Yes, we are good. Thank you for watching everybody. And thank you right back to you, Sonia. I look forward to this every week too. And it helps me keep my vibe high. And that's what we are trying to help you do as well. And it helps us stay on track of doing these things for us because otherwise we would forget and do things for kids and family and this and others and businesses. And when we, you know, I intentionally know I will be doing this. So we got a little preparation. We talk about it the day before and then over the week and then we do the things. If we wouldn't do that, I probably would not do all these things. Like I know I do some of it, but like it mm -hmm. just intentionally. So it forces us in a good way. So I like it. Thank you. And thank you all for being here with us. And we will see you next week on the High Frequency Thursday with Brianna and Sonia. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>